hello everyone and welcome to facts and action youtube channel so today we will be bypassing google account from zte track 2 hd or zte k88 tablet for this method we will need to connect with the internet first so let's get started skip this connect with wi-fi So once you are connected to Wi-Fi network, now it's checking connection. And now it's a software update. Checking some more info, just be patient. Follow along with me and we should be able to bypass Google account or FRP lock from this tablet. So as we can see, we forgot the Google account, we don't know. So let's go back, let's go back. So in this section, all you have to press and hold simultaneously the screen with two fingers. So it will turn on talk back. If it doesn't work, change the position. Again, touching the screen until you hear a beep to enable accessibility mode. Accessibility, accessibility tutorial. So when accessibility mode or tag back is now turned on. To learn what's under your so finger, let's exit this one. Button. Welcome. So now draw L. So as you can see, it gives you tag back settings. Tag back. To find an item. So what then we can do speed. is we have to draw opposite L. Like if you draw L is like this right so now we need to draw from down to up like from right to left then up so that's how we have to draw l overview so it will info. make it like this so it will show you all the tabs or opening uh, apps so once you see the screen again if you go back, back button welcome so again draw l that's overview it. application in again back welcome overview application so once info. you see this screen click here on this apps manager app manager apps. or app manager showing items so button. now draw l again AT &T, AT &T so now you have to draw l like uh, the normal and not the opposite and one draw l pause feedback touch the pop. always show warning let's check. uncheck this. this warning okay now button. okay okay so now you come down or swipe down so now you will see here google app click on this one after this click on notification app settings you'll find here now cards go back you'll see here now cards click on now cards show cards so it will bring you google assistant no thanks so in this section right here chrome so we need to bring chrome browser okay no thanks so in the search bar or address bar right here quick shortcut maker apk so we need to download this this uh, apk file or quick shortcut apk let's download it from let's see apk20.com download apk from apk20 hello okay so you have to open once once it is downloaded so you have to open it if you don't see it here so it's okay download again let's close this edge okay so now download again replace so you should see here open if still not it's okay go back close this chrome again click on show cards it will take you to the screen right so no thanks so here now write file so it will show you the file manager open this app 
and you will see here downloads click on downloads downloads again and you will see here quick shortcut maker apk so it's telling you install blocked so let's unblock that unknown sources yes okay go back again click on this install accept and open this so now you swipe down and you find here let's see Google account manager so you will see a lot of uh, apps inside this Google account manager so you need to find the one which says Google account manager and type email and password so you have to find it so from the beginning so one two three four five so the fifth one uh, it says the down uh, it says type email and password click on this try it will open up this section now you'll see here the three dots in the right top corner click on these three dots browser sign in okay now you have to put your new Google account the one that you know and the old one you already forgot so uh, you can create a new one also but let's put the one that we already have the password and the username for it yeah all right let's put the password all right so now you can go back we can go back again and what we can do is just for security reason we can set up this let's set up the password also patron lock also let's see if it's possible okay so um, cancel this right here settings security screen lock okay let's turn on screen pinning let's turn on this turn on this let's put the patron lock on it let's go back you can restart the device or you can just um, go back to the first screen or set up user screen okay now you can see that it's telling us account added so the google account that we added the new one um, through a quick shortcut maker so now it's, it, it has been added so click next So that patron lock was, I think, not important. So the important bar part was uh, to add a new Google account. And that's what we did. I hope this method will help you out. And if it did help you, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos. You can restart the device also if it takes longer and longer so you can uh, restart the device and then it should work faster so let's wait for a few more seconds if it still doesn't work then we will restart the device and then we should be good let's 
Okay, let's go back again. Okay, let's restart the device. Okay. Let's restart the device. So let's draw our new pattern that we set up. All right. So draw the pattern next skip this Okay, so again it says account added. Let's press next. Let's now wait for a minute again, and I hope this time it should be good. If it still doesn't work, just wait for it, and let's see what happens. So maybe it takes few minutes rather than few seconds. All right, so now you can see Stellinga set up in transfer, not now. Exit this, agree, and that's it. So we have successfully bypassed Google account on this ZTE Trek 2 HD tablet or ZTE K88. I hope this method will help you bypass Google account on your device. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.